Hey there, Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. Today we're going to do a plate like a pro beet and goat cheese salad. Um, we've got some roasted beets, and I've got some uh, red and yellow beets here we're going to use. Um, got a little arugula, a little goat cheese, I've got some pistach some toasted pistachios, a little balsamic syrup, and I've got, a, I've got a little chive oil. You could use some extra virgin olive oil. The chive oil is easy to make. Just you want to steep some chives in some uh, extra virgin olive oil a little bit, warm it up, let it cool down. Once you do that, you're going to want to keep it refrigerated. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. This is one of the ways that we, I like to do it. We do these here when we do the caterings, and they go really well. Um, it's pretty, it's simple, and it's really, really kind of fun to do. So let's just get started. Now, you remember we did the, when we did the beets, we just roasted them off, nipped the ends, and uh, just wipe them off with a little towel, and the, the skins come, peels come right off, and then they're ready to go. We did that in another video. You might want to check that out if you don't remember. And what we're going to do is we're just going to slice these, and then I'm going to, to give them that real finished clean look, use like a little circle cutter. So let's get started. And I'm just going to make nice little slices you know, slice them about as thick as you want to eat them. We'll do some of the, do the red ones, do the yellow ones. Can you do all the same? Sure, whatever you're feeling, you know. Sometimes I do these at home for my son, and I grow the watermelon beets. Those are beautiful as well. So, again, whatever's in season, whatever you've got, do that. And like I said, we're just going to take and do a little circle cut with that. Do the now these little pieces that you're seeing can you do anything with those sure those could be another little salad you could save those and make a little beet and ginger smoothie just throw them right in your blender that's beautiful for the goat cheese again just to make this easy I use a little scoop you could use a spoon and just pat it with your hand but like I said to make things easy I just take the little scoop and I've got about a three-quarter ounce scoop but you and whatever's working for you Again, I'm just, just like that. And now we're ready to go. And all I'm doing is the fancy little, you don't even have to circle cut them or anything, just give them the little mash. All right, so let's get, let's get these on the plate and show you how we're doing this. So we're gonna do, figure out where you wanna start from and just go from there. And again, once you get the beets on there, let them be because you're not going to get them to you're not going to get them to move. Okay, so they're there. And we're going to take just a little bit of some uh, little baby arugula here. We we'll get our little baby arugula on there. A few of those pistachios. And now we're gonna hit it with a little bit of that uh, chive oil or you can use the extra virgin olive oil. I do a little squeeze bottle because it's easy. You could do a little spoon and just give it a drizzle. Same thing with the, the balsamic syrup. Just give it a little circle on there. A little salt and pepper. And for a finishing touch, a little breadstick. And there you go. We've got our beet and goat cheese salad. That's the way we do it here at White Apron. Chef Jeff, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.